This is the Wacky Musician, and you're looking at a clarinet right now because we're going to go over how to assemble the clarinet. Okay. Always make sure your clarinet case is laying correctly. Don't open it sideways. Make sure it's right side up. Undo your latches and lift the case. Older kids will probably open it in their lap. Uh, younger kids and students with special needs may need to place it on a table or a bench when they're opening it. Take the swab out, put it aside. We will start with what's called the bell. And that's this piece right here. The bell kind of looks like a bell. And we're going to take the longer of these two joints. The short one's called the upper joint. The long one's called the lower joint. The lower joint looks like this. Mine has a little fuzzy thing in it. Yours probably does not have that, but if you do, you need to pull that out. Stick it back in your case. Now, one end has a cork on it, one end does not. We're going to take the bell to the end that has the cork on it. Notice how I'm holding the joint. I've grabbed it right here where there's very few keys. We don't want to put our hand over a lot of keys, so this is a good place to grab it so we don't bend any keys. And we're just going to gently twist this on. If it's too tight, we take our cork grease and we're just going to do one swoop around. We don't want to put too much on and we only need that if it's tight. If it's not tight, then don't put any more cork grease on. And then gentle twisty motion back and forth very gently. Now the next piece we need is the upper joint, the shorter of those pieces. And this also has a fuzzy thing in it that yours probably does not. But we need, I need to pull that out. Now, this piece is slightly more complicated. We need to look for this right here. And we know we have the right key because we can see this going up and down. When we put this on, we need this to be up. So I'm going to put my hand behind the back and lay my thumb right like that. So now you can see how my hand's positioned. These keys are over here. Thumb is here. Rest of my hand's grabbing underneath. And on the lower joint, we have a little key here. We're going to line those two keys up. Again, gentle twisty motion. Not a lot of motion. If it's too tight, put your cork grease on and line those keys up. And once they're lined up, then you can let go of the thumb and let that key drop. Now we need to put on our barrel. Barrel is this short little piece here. One side is smaller than the other. The bigger side is going to go to the top of our upper joint. And again, if, you need, if it's tight, put some cork grease on, one swipe around, and just put it on with a gentle back and forth. Very gentle. Uh, line up your logo if you have one. I don't even know if you can see mine there. And we're almost there. Now we've got to put on our mouthpiece. Now here's my mouthpiece. You may or may not have a brush sticking out of it. If you do, pull the brush out. It should have a cap on it. We need to pull the cap off. And we're just going to put the cap back in our case so we don't lose it. Now your ligature, that's this thing with the screw in it, may look different from this. This is my ligature. Yours probably has two screws and they're probably up top like that. And you'll want to loosen both those screws. Not, don't take them all the way out. Just loosen them so that it'll come off. And for right now, we'll set that in the case. And then again, if it's tight, we'll put some cork grease around it. If not, we'll just go ahead and again, gently rocking back and forth, we'll twist it on there. Now to line this up correctly, we want to try to catch the light here and draw a line up to the middle of the mouthpiece. That's how we'll know it's on correct. So the flat end is with this long key here in this one hole. This key that's by itself with a hole behind it is where we line the flat piece of the mouthpiece. Now we're ready for our reed. So pull your reed out of its case and it should be in a case. It should always be in a case when you're not using it. We need to stick it in our mouth like so. Notice that only half the reed is in my mouth. And just for a moment, we just need to wet it. And then we need to take our ligature. That's the thing with the screws in it. They said yours probably has screws on top. My screws go on the bottom. But if you need to make sure if you have screws that go on top that your screws are on the top. 
set the ligature on here, make sure the screws are loose but not all the way out. Pull the ligature forward and slide the reed underneath like so. And then push the ligature back and tighten it a little bit. We'll want to position our reed before we tighten it fully. And what we really want to see is about like that. Let me get that in the camera. So there's just a little bit of the black of the mouthpiece at the top of the reed. If there's too much, it won't play well. If there's not enough and the reed's too far out, it won't play well. Also, make sure the reed is square, that it's centered on the mouthpiece. And then we're going to tighten our screws. And if you have two screws, you should tighten both. Again, if you have a standard ligature, your screws will be up on top and you need to tighten them there. You don't want to put them like this, like mine, because this ligature is made to be different. So your screws most likely will be on top here. And then we're ready to show the reed again on the mouthpiece. You want to try and get it just like that. You don't want it too low or too high. And that's how we put our clarinet together.